Good afternoon, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. It is Friday, the 13th of October. Yes, it's Friday the 13th, you know? Friday the 13th have always been really good to me. I've gotten free gas. I've gotten free milk. Nothing like that happened today, but it's been a good day so far. So I had my nail appointment at 11, so this is what they look like. We got Jack Skeleton, the stripes, and then usually I do stripes on the other two, but the one that did my nails said she did someone else's nails like this, and I said, yes, go for it. So she did, so my thumbs are purple. Yep, pretty. I like it. And then I went grocery shopping. Um, I got what I needed, so money has been, like, really tight this year, so I've been trying to make more casseroles and big pots of soup that I can get, like, three meals out of, so I'm making spaghetti with sausage in it tomorrow, I'll make a big thing of that, um, because Justin will be here probably, what else, I'm going to make chili, I'm going to make my chicken potato soup, and hamburger soup. So, yeah. I got everything I needed for that. I got me some Diet Dr. Pepper and a bag of chips for the weekend because it's a readathon weekend. I got to have snacks. So, we don't have any birthdays that I know of. No birthdays today. So let's see, how did we do yesterday? I was in craft and clean Zoom. So I cleaned the kitchen. I cleaned the fridge, the microwave. None of them needed much. They they were pretty clean anyways. Um, the stove top, which I've been keeping up with. And I scrubbed the countertops, which they weren't that bad either. I also cleaned the bathroom. I cleaned mirrors and glass in the house, and I swept and mopped floors. Oh, and I did laundry. I have a load in the dryer to be folded. So, yeah, I was in the Craft and Clean Zoom, which is the Anytime Zoom. That is, that Zoom is owned by Stephanie. So, I was in there. I usually do that on Mondays, but I had my grandsons on Monday. So, I'm like, nope. I did stitch on Rosie. And... I put in 487 stitches, and then I started March Banner, and I don't have fabric to do the rest of the banners. I don't think I do. I know I don't have fabric, but I don't know if I had fabric pulled before for any of the other banners. The Cross Stitcher, April 1997. Yep. That was yesterday. So let's get started for today. Right now it is 55, feels like 53. Today is a high of 57 with a low of 44. Cloudy, which it is. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Humidity is, where'd it go? Humidity is 56%. Sunset is at 6.32 p.m. Yeah. Uh, 
Let's see. What's it going to do? Today's national day. Here we go. National no bra day. Well, I left the house, so I've got one on. But if I'm not leaving the house, I don't always wear one. Because who cares? It's national no bra day. Today's wisdom quote. Those who act with few desires are calm without worry or fear by Buddha. And today's words of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. And... Natheon. Natheon is a noun meaning the lowest part of the chin. Natheon. The other word of the day, I'm going to say it's mendacious. Mendacious. Yep. Mendacious. Mendacious is an adjective meaning not telling the truth. Lying. Yep. And today's horoscope for Aries. Spiritual concepts may seem elusive and incomprehensible today. You might have difficulty focusing on books and your mind could wander during lectures or meditation. Conversation should shed light on what's unclear to you. Ask friends who follow the same path. If nothing else, you'll enjoy the discussion. And today's fortune cookie. Stop procrastinating. Make a decision already. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I never wrote in here that I had my nail appointment. So I just wrote it. And then I'm going to write in here grocery shopping. Okay, so there is that. A crafty planner. Okay, so I did, I didn't do a morning video today. I did an afternoon video. Yesterday, I was in um, Crafts and Clean Zoom. Okay. And yesterday, I, like I said, I stitched on Rosie. I put in 487 stitches. So, hey, Rosie. And March Banner. Wait till you see what I'm starting tonight. I cannot wait. Okay, so like I said, I had a nail appointment, 11 a.m., and I went grocery shopping, okay, um, So, yeah, I worked on the March banner, also Rosie, so we'll do Rosie 10, 12 yesterday, and the March banner, let's see, here we go, we'll write on this March banner.
the cross stitcher april 1997 must have ate my lunch too fast i have the hiccups 10 12 23 finished Okay, so April Banner is in here, so let's see where the April, this is the March Banner, and I did mine on 28 Count Lugana, 2 over 2, now to find it, there it is. Um, kind of hard to see, but this was done in a cream color instead of white. The other, January and February, were done with a white banner, and this one's a cream. And I can see the words March, but I didn't have time to stitch those in. So I did get some done. And I'm happy with the amount I did. Yep. So there is that. I got to write in here um, the size of it. March banner is 104 wide by 130 high. 28 count. Lugana DMC threads. Yeah. So there's that. Now on, I will show you what we are doing tonight. I forgot to bring it over here, so just wait a second. It's right here behind me. It is um, button. It's Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Winter Series. It is no, that's not the one I'm doing. That's not the one I'm doing. It's in the drawer. <laughs> okay, Buttons and Beads, the Winter Series Christmas Village. I'm doing the needle workshop. I want all the village. I want all the village ones. I like Mill Hill anyway, so I like them all. But that's the one that I'm going to be starting tonight after dinner. Yeah. So. Yeah. Winter series. I want all the different series. I have a lot going on. Let's see, Dylan. So, yeah, I went and I got up this morning at like quarter to eight. I'm like, I have time to make a video. Well, I got playing my morning games and that took like an hour and then I had to take a shower and I'm like, forget it. I'll make a video when I get home. I got my diet, Dr. Pepper. So I left here, got my nails done. Nothing thrilling on the way there. Um, while I was waiting, I was sitting on the bench waiting and there was an elderly couple that came in and he said that he was 83 or 85 and his wife's 88. And so I was wearing this. He goes, bookworms, please. I'm a book dragon. And I said, yes, I like to read. He goes, we do too. He goes, mysteries. And I said, yeah, I like mysteries. And he said, James Patterson and Ch Chisholm. And a few others. And I said, yes, I read those. And then he goes, and I read a series. There's like 12 books. He says, I can't remember the name of the author. He goes, I don't tell too many people I read them because it's got a lot of sex in them. And I laughed and I said, those are my favorite kind. <laughs> and he was so cute. And he was said, I just can never remember the author or the name of them because I don't ever tell anybody, any of the family that I read them. 
and he's his wife he says my wife comes here every friday she's got to get her hair washed and done up and i told him my mother-in-law was the same way every friday she got her hair washed and styled and um and he was really cute and he says you know they were going somewheres today out for dinner he says thankfully my son is going to pick me up he goes they seem to think my wife and i are still in our 50s and they want us to go to all the grandkids games yeah soccer games and all that he goes and we just can't do that anymore he goes they seem to think we're still 50 <laughs> and and i said i can understand that and he was so cute and he goes and my wife he goes she can tell you things that happened so that's what someone wore 45 years ago in a wedding he goes but her short-term memory he goes that's pretty much gone he goes but she can take care of herself i don't have to take care of her it's just that and he was so cute and we talked for probably five minutes he was really really nice so i was um it was nice having a conversation with him, you know, and I told him, I said, you know, my parents are both 80, and I says, I get it. They they can't do a lot either. And he said that they go back down to Florida November 15th, or somewhere around the 15th of November. They go back down to Florida. So, um, yeah. <laughs> It was really cute. And then I got my nails done. So I showed her the picture of my nails. And she said, wait, because the green and the purple nail, I usually do in the stripe also. And she said, no, we're going to. Um, or She said, wait, you need to see Lainey's nails. Well, I saw Lainey's nails. They probably took a lot of time to do. And it would have cost me probably extra. And I said, those are gorgeous. They were they were Halloweeny, but they were pink. They were so pretty. And um, she said, I did someone else's nail with the Jack Skeleton with the purple and the green. Do you want me to do that or do you want what you showed me the picture? I said, no, let's do the purple and the green. So she did. Um, and I was out of there before noon. I think I was out, heading towards Leroy to go to save a lot by 10 to 12. So um, I get to save a lot, and I got everything on my list. I was really good. The only thing that I was not on my list was um, I got some cheese curds to eat on the way home because I hadn't eaten. But I did, um, I did have Diet Pop on my list, and I had snack on my list, so that I got the chips. So I finally got me a debit card two weeks ago. So last week when I took my mom to Walmart, it wouldn't take my debit card. It wouldn't take because it has a chip. And I told them it's not taking it. Let me slide it. She goes, it won't let you slide it. You have to use the chip. And I'm fine. I said, fine. I'll write out a check. So today I used my card. It worked at the salon. So I go to save a lot. I want to use my debit card. I, I carry my checkbook anyways. So I go to save a lot. I want to use my debit card. It still won't take the chip. So it said slide it. So I slid the card. It worked. So obviously my card works, but why is the chip part not working? I don't understand that. So um, that's a pain in the ass. I had driven past a house of people that were friends of ours their son went to school with dylan and i hung out with the mom for a while she was in the scrapbooking and i got into scrapbooking with her and um i drove by their house and there's a sale pending sign in front of their house so i told dylan and dylan said well it is just the two of them now and it is a big house so they probably don't they're probably going to look for something smaller and i said probably so um yeah that was it nothing else went on the garbage men have already been here so i moved the bin toward to the house because scott doesn't like it sitting out by the road after they've already picked up so i wheeled that out got you know my groceries are in and put away Tomorrow is spaghetti, and I'm going to put sausage in it. I got hot sausage this time. Um, yeah. 
So that I know of, Justin will be here tomorrow. So that's my what we're having tomorrow. Hopefully there's some leftover spaghetti for Sunday. And then Monday I'll probably make chili. But yeah, it's cooler weather and I don't I still don't have my oven, so the crock pot and is going to get used a lot this week. Um the spaghetti I can do on the stove. That's not an issue. The stove works, it's just the oven that doesn't. So, um I've been using my crock pot all week. I have one meal left out of that ham and noodle casserole, so I've gotten one two, four meals out of that. Um, I got two meals, three meals out of the chicken that I did in the air fryer with potatoes. So, yeah, I, um, and I eat them for leftovers for lunch if there's enough. So, I've been easily spending around $100 a week. Um, I even got some stuff to make a, a side salad. To go along with like the spaghetti or for my lunches. I do have ramen noodles up in the cupboard for lunches when I'm out of everything else. I also have a can of chicken noodle soup and clam chowder soup up in the cupboard. So, yeah, we're good. The, you know, Scott's always worked two jobs. He always has, but he's starting to feel like he's useless. And I got really mad at him because, no, he's not. No. Nope. I don't feel that way about him at all. And he says, well, that's how he feels. He, I get so angry because he's always been a very hard worker. He didn't want me working when the kids were young because he didn't want anybody else raising them. I worked for nine years at the lab and then um, lost that job because of asthma and that it was a really bad place for my health. And then babysat. So... Right now, I don't have an income coming in, and it's a pain in the ass. So I haven't, you know, I don't have extra for crafts, which I can get floss, but I still need two pieces of fabric and some more needles. Other than that, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, so I'm looking to see what size this is. It, they never tell you. It tells you the inches, but not how many stitches, so that I can fill this project sheet out. I want to get this project sheet filled. Let me get this out. I don't think, does it tell on here? Okay, so it's, it's winter series. Christmas Village Needle Workshop by Mill Hill. I'm starting it tonight. So ten, thirteen, twenty-three. It is a 5 inch by 5 inch, so it's got perforated paper, beads, DMC, and a button. So yeah, I can't wait to do more. I need to find more of these. I like them. So that's it for today. It is 1.30 and I have not started stitching yet. It'll give me five hours to stitch and listen to books. And then I will switch over to this at 6 and um, keep listening to books. So I will see you guys all tomorrow. You all have a great day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.